Okay, this is pretty simple. Just remember, jackburford.com. Shop online 24-7, 365 for the best deal on your next Chevy. Stay local, shop local. Don't be known for buying out of town. jackburford.com, where Chevys cost less. From the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel, and this is your daily afternoon news brief to kick off the weekend. A man accused with yesterday's shooting in Richmond on Darlene Court has now been lodged in the Madison County Detention Center. According to Richmond Police, officers arrived at the residence Thursday responding to the disturbance call on the street off of Tate's Creek around 8 a.m. The suspect, 40-year-old Brandon B. Garner of Midway, was located locked in a bedroom with the victim with a handgun located nearby. The victim was discovered to have sustained a gunshot wound to her hip and was taken to the hospital for treatment. Large amounts of blood were also allegedly found in the bedroom that the two were in. Police later report that multiple gunshots were also heard on audio surveillance in the area, but there was no video. Following a search warrant on the Darlene Court home, seven bullet holes and casings were located by officers. Garner is charged with first-degree assault, possession of a handgun by a convicted felon, first-degree possession of heroin after a powdery substance was allegedly located on his person. A man that was reportedly found missing was discovered dead Thursday by Wolf County Search and Rescue. Last night around 6 p.m., the Wolf County Search and Rescue team was requested to conduct the recovery operation for the local who had been reported as missing. As the search was conducted, the male subject was found dead below a cliff in the area of Mullins Point. The search team expressed their condolences to the man's family and friends in a social media post. And for a local family, there was double the celebration this week following Christmas with the three-digit birthday of the matriarch of the family, Nell Foltz. Foltz sat down amidst her celebration with WBON TV and talked about her experiences growing up in Kentucky as well as how grateful she is to be surrounded by her relatives. One of eight siblings, Foltz has outlived all of her brothers and sisters and is still vivacious as always, saying that she wishes she could still even keep driving her Cadillacs again. Foltz has been at Kenwood and Richmond for multiple years now, following the death of her husband seven years ago. Not only did she receive a full day of celebration and gifts, but her number one present was to be on the arm of a handsome man dressed to the nines. Watch the video up now to celebrate 100 years with Foltz and to hear her speak on the gratitude for her large family and the help of Kenwood staff. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.